Idaho's five Supreme Court justices will decide whether abortion becomes illegal here in the next couple of weeks. The court heard arguments from Planned Parenthood, who filed multiple lawsuits against the state over its abortion laws. They also heard from those defending those laws, the AG's office and outside counsel representing the legislature. Tristan Lewis here to walk us through what happened today, both inside the courtroom and outside. Tristan. This just continues to be an emotionally charged issue on both sides. Uh, the Supreme Court heard those arguments for about an hour this morning, but it's unclear when the justices will make a decision about the two abortion laws on the books. Typically, we have rulemaking and those the conversation on reproductive rights in Idaho continues. The Idaho Supreme Court heard two of three Planned Parenthood lawsuits filed against the state over its abortion laws Wednesday morning. The court previously paused one of those laws, the state's trigger law, which bans most abortions in Idaho. Planned Parenthood argues Idaho's new laws are too vague. Take the first offense, which is available when an abortion is, quote, necessary to prevent the death of a pregnant woman. That language gives no indication of how imminent or substantial the risk of death, death must be in order for the provider to feel confident that he can provide an abortion without risking prosecution, jail, and professional sanction. Meanwhile, the Attorney General's office pushed back, saying the laws aren't vague at all. The statute says that only the, the physician in his good faith medical judgment needs to determine whether the abortion is necessary to prevent the death of the pregnant woman. This provision on a facial challenge sets the standard and gives the physician the discretion to decide whether that standard has been met. That decision is in the hands of Idaho Supreme Court justices, who could decide to send the two lawsuits to a lower court or put a stay on the lawsuits while legal proceedings continue. Lawmakers around the state reacted to Wednesday's arguments, Republicans, including one of the bill's sponsors, echoing much of what the state argued. I believe the legislation is very clear, and one of my pet peeves about what's been going on is that um, the left has really been using a lot of talking points that are completely inaccurate when it comes to the bill. While Democrats say watching the hearing was very emotional. As I sat there, I'm thinking of women, hundreds of stories that I have, you know, listened to, experienced, especially victims of violence and incest, uh, and that everything is right on the stake today. Uh, my stomach was turning. As Idahoans await the court's decision, many are working to make sure their voices are still heard. Not the church, not the state. We decide our fate. No matter the outcome. The whole premise of this country is we wanted to have a say in what was going on, taxation, all of that. We wanted to have a say, and so you don't get a say if you don't say anything. Hundreds of abortion rights advocates made their way to the state capitol steps Wednesday night telling Idahoans they can use their voice by voting. If you're registered to vote, set a reminder to get out to the polls or request an absentee ballot. If you're like me and you're not old enough yet, make sure your family and friends are registered to vote and make sure that they actually get out to the polls and do it. And again, the Supreme Court has three options. One, they can pause the pending abortion laws and continue legal review. They can rule there is no reason to prevent the laws from going into effect, therefore letting them set in this month. In the third scenario, the Supreme Court passes the question over the laws' constitutionality down to district courts. Morgan and Brian. Like you said, a lot of emotions on both sides. I know a very convoluted issue, difficult to follow. We are expecting that decision from the Supreme Court, though, within Any, the next few days, potentially. Anytime, yeah. And they're also considering whether to add that third lawsuit in with these other two. Right. So they could all be kind of conjoined and figure out where they go from there mm -hmm. together. That'll help clear it all up. All right, Tristan Lewis, thank you.